Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, GDB, GNU uh, Debugger. So in Windows platform you have seen like uh, Visual Studio is there, various compilers are there where you can debug your application uh, from web GUI. But uh, here in Unix platform it is little different. Here you have to do the debugging with uh, GDB. Uh, that is GNU debugger which is used for debugging C, C++ application. So today I am going to discuss about uh, how to debug memory uh, crash issues. Like if your application has some null pointer exception or some other kind of memory exception, it, uh, your application will get crashed. Now after getting crashed, how you will debug which line of your application got crashed or why it got crashed at this specific point. So to do this, you have to use the GNU tool that is GDB debugger. So I will show you how to do uh, use GNU debugger to uh, figure uh, debug your application and figure out which line and what was the wrong, what was wrong in that line to so that it got crashed. Okay, guys. So before going to start, uh, let me show you. So you can go to YouTube and search with my channel name. So here is my uh, channel. So here you can see I have uploaded various videos related to telecom and uh, C programming. Here I have uploaded C programming. If you are interested, you can uh, go to my channel and you can see all these videos here. So also friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So here you can subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. So let's start today's topic. So uh, GNU debugger is a tool available in uh, Unix platform. So here you can see it called GDB. So this command is not found. Now GDB is not installed here in my system. So I'm uh, going to install GDB. So this is the command. So it's getting installed now. So it got installed now. So uh, let me show you how uh, how JDB is used in compiling the C program or C, C++ program. Let's take a small example here. I will do a pointer exception in my test program. So here I have written a small program here. So uh, so here I have a small uh, pointer application where uh, it's allocating some memory and printing the value. I am assigning some memory and printing the values. So here uh, I make the application. So you've got make my Uh, my test application is built, so I am running this test application. So it uh, compiled and runs successfully, both hello world and hello world one is printed. Now I will make a small change here. Uh, so instead of allocating memory, I will assign a null pointer. So the most of the uh, crash which happens because of null pointer exception. I mean, uh, if a programmer fail, uh, programmer forgets to check the null pointer whether this is a null pointer or not, and assign try to assign some value to that pointer, so that point it get crashed. This is the major issue where application get crashed. Now, if it is a very big application, hundreds of files are there, and it get crashed because of some null pointer exception, so it's very hard to figure out which line it got crashed. That is where the debugger is required gdb is required so here i am doing this i am just replicating the similar issue here with a small c program so now i am building this application again and i am running the same test program so you see that here the core dump is generated because it got a segmentation fault because of this null pointer 
now if I do so I am not finding any code file got generated so in Unix uh, it's very important to check the U limit uh, the U limit uh, has uh, this code file size if it is set to 0 it will not generate any code files so I am setting it to unlimited really so now the code file will get generated so you can see that the value is set to unlimited now I am running this test program again so it got so now you see that one code file got generated after setting it to unlimited now I try to debug this so to uh, use the gdb to debug this code file is command is like this uh, gdb then your uh, binary name then the code file name so here you got the code file so this is called backtrace bt so but here you can see after doing bt it will show me the path of uh, where it got crashed so it's showing that the mem copy failed and it got crashed in main mem copy inside the main application so if i do f see here the values are given 0 1 so it it will show you the path so 0 is the library file where it uh, got an exception and it uh, got crashed at the main application now I am doing F1, but it's not showing me any. Uh, it's not showing me any kind of uh, 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 exact location, exact line number where it got crashed. There is a reason for this. Uh, uh, so to get the exact line number, we have to compile this test program with GDB. So previously, you can see here where. You So here you can see I have just compiled it with gcc test.c hyphen or test.c but this will not work here uh, to get the proper definition of the code uh, inside the code file you have to compile it with uh, gdb so gcc hyphen g g d d test.c hyphen o test so now the binary will get generated with a gdb option so it will get so my test got generated now i'm running this test again so it got core again so my latest core is core file is this so i am doing this test core so now you can see that uh, now you can see that uh, it got the proper definition of my main plus all this. Now if I do F1, it is showing that this line number it got the exception. Now here I can debug the variables. Which variables? I know this P is a pointer variable, so I will try. Oh, uh, it is showing that the memory is not assigned to this variable that is why it failed it's a null pointer exception so this is one kind of exception that we can use uh, gdb to debug so if it is a huge program then you just uh, have to open the code file with your binary name and it will show you uh, the path where it got code and you can get exactly the location exactly the line number where the code happened and you can fix that part so this is how you know the which uh, which variable in bigger programs there may be might be a structure there might be a uh, big pointer uh, to a structure can fail there you can uh, print the structure value and you can find exactly which variable has null pointer and you can debug these issues so uh, it's a very small C program to show you how the memory pointer uh, exception happens 
and segmentation fault happened and how to debug this so friends uh, thanks for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll upload more videos similar to this uh, so thanks guys thanks for watching